Hello and welcome back to another Infinite Galaxy video. Today I want to talk about research. Um, I already said it in the past that I want to make a video for this and today is the day I finally do it. So um, when you go to research you do have four different categories to choose research from. Resource, development, military, comment. The military tree, let's start with this, it is pretty straightforward. Um, on top you got frigates, then middle are the destroyers, bottom are the cruisers, and you have no other chance than to do them all because you are required always to build a certain type of warship for your main quest. So this will force you to go through all of this automatically. Later you even have to um, get uh, all five research pieces in, like here the HP, to continue doing the warship development. Um, it's no question, it's a good tree. I did also fill out some of the um, areas before, but um, at some point I at the moment left them at one out of five. I was able to develop like the Kraken class destroyer. Um, without doing 5 for 5 for the um, Fortify Destroyer defense, just because there are so many good things you want to research. Um, so you will do this more or less automatically. Development is um, very important. So in development the, some of the most important things are the expand dock. Um, you want to do this for sure because um, yeah that's expanding your dock. I did do also all the steps for like the construction and um, for the research. Looking back I probably would not do this again. I mean it speeds up by 10% but um, we will come to this very soon. My problem is not at the moment mainly the time it takes to research something or to build something, but to get all the resources to do this. So the same thing with um, the spaceship production line optimization. It's it's not bad, it's good. Um, at one point for sure you want to have it, but um, it will. there are other things that will be more beneficial for you. Repairing battlefield recycle and um, repair, you should do this um, for sure. Just because um, as soon as you start fighting, you will lose warships. Some of them can be repaired, so that is good then. Um, but others will be lost and you just lose them. So you lose power in this case. This will help you reducing the power loss. Overall, I would say... Um, Minimize your research in the development tree, um, basically because um, you will have to do the military tree, there's no way around. And um, let's take a look at the others. The command tree, this gives you additional um, fleet leadership, which is very important if you want to attack someone or something, because the leadership defines how many warships you can put into your fleet. Um, flagship firepower, flagship shields, defense. This is really nice for um, for the campaign. Um, the more you can improve your flagships, the easier the campaign will be. Spaceport weapon expansion. This just is on the way here. Um, I would not. Again, same thing there. I did spend a few points here. I would not spend so many points here. I would right now spend most of my points in military, as said, there's no way around, and then in resources, because the resources are the limiting factor in this game. You can only mine this much resources, but I can spend much more resources than I can mine. And um, looking into farming other players, I can get titanium and deuterium from these, but I can get enough titanium and deuterium 
what I cannot get enough is um, nickel and most of the players out there I scouted quite a few they don't have enough nickel that it makes sense to farm them and also if you farm them um, you very likely will find someone with six seven million um, titanium and deuterium and 200 or 300 K of nickel so every time you go there your main return will be titanium and deuterium um, so put as much as you can as early as you can into your nickel research you see I am just starting doing this um, but nickel is really a limiting factor at least up to level 20 21 command center um, I'm pretty sure later after this um, we will get the same problem with um, with plasma but um, yeah same thing there get there try to get your um, nickel as early as possible that you can already start gathering it and um, same thing there I will try to get to the plasma the plasma requires a research center 19 I want to build it at the moment I'm mainly missing my nickel as you can see it's, it's always very low and um, yeah these buildings they have very high requirement so um, I would recommend you to put quite a few points in the game um, in this research it will help you a lot you will also have the transport expansion which is quite nice um, after the last patch the planets are very very lucrative for um, getting resources so yeah that's where I would recommend you start researching it um, that you get enough there then do your military research to be able to do all these um, main quests that you can build the higher level um, warships this will help you a lot also there are some um, um, skills here that like expands your expedition fleet which is really nice it allows you to um, do more investigation which gives also a very very nice um, resource return so um, that makes sense and um, let's see what did we had in development the, exp ah, the fleet probe it increases your vision this is a nice one I would take that um, spaceport teleport is very good um, take these I mean there's no way around there very early and um, you will anyhow want to get them and um, yeah from there if you do a lot of PvP or um, get the repair and the battlefield recycle the dock expansion is also a set um, it will allow you to repair more of your ships so you don't lose them uh, have this all over the place there and um, in comment the art of comment is nice to increase the leadership limit I did stop researching it at the moment as I try to get my fleets a little bit more even because I said my main problem is resources so I mainly sent out my fleets to gather resources not really to fight that much and um, then I need the warships in the fleet to increase the loading space so that the fleet can stay out longer and can gather more um, yeah so that's my recommendation for the research as that resources are the most critical part of the game you will need as many resources as possible I even now switched over my core modules to development um, just to be able as you can see I, I went the top tree here which will allow you or gives you a higher um, titanium and then also nickel gathering I will make another video about this how to maximize and optimize your gathering mining speed and um, yeah I hope this helped you 
Let me know if you have any comments there, if you have anything to add, if I missed out a very important research you want to highlight. And um, please, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.